negative 1 times negative 1 is equals to 1. Obviously, this mathematical statement is true. But how do we prove this? Without any further delay, let's begin the proof. So, proof. So, let's suppose we have x minus x to be equal to 0. And such that this x is different from 0. That is, s can never be 0. Though s could be 1, it could be 2, it could be 3. Also, s could be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, on and on like that, on and on like that. But s is different from 0. So let's proceed further. Considering this guy, suppose we replace each x with negative x. So we're going to have minus x minus into minus x which is equals to zero so let's call this equation one and let's call this equation two obviously when we had these two guys together that is minus x minus into minus x we give zero because that will be minus x plus x which is equals to zero so this condition is satisfied now suppose we equate equation one and two so we're gonna have equation one to be equals to that is x minus x will be equals to this guy minus x minus into minus x now let's add x to both sides of these equations so we're gonna have x minus x plus x equals minus x minus into minus x plus x of course nothing has changed so now let's rearrange these equations so we're gonna have x minus x plus x which is equals to we can combine these two guys so we're gonna have x minus x into bracket minus into minus x of course x minus x equals zero so we have zero here plus x which is equals to x minus x that is zero minus into minus x this implies that x is equals to minus into minus x so this implies that x is equals to this negative sign could be written as negative 1 times minus x so this implies that x is equals to negative 1 also negative x is the same thing as writing that is negative x is the same thing as writing negative 1 times x so we are going to replace this guy with this so we're gonna have minus 1 times x since x is not equals to 0 we can simply divide both sides of this equation by x so we're gonna have x over x equals negative 1 times negative 1 times x all over x of course this is guys cancel each other so we have 1 on the left side equals Likewise, x cancels x here, so we are left with minus 1 times minus 1. So, therefore, negative 1 times negative 1 is equals to 1, which is the required solution. That is, we just proved this mathematical statement. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.